Bull riding has become a very popular sport in rodeos as well as a standalone sport. The toughest sport on dirt is holding its finals week this week in Las Vegas. But where did the sport originate and whose bright idea was it to get on an angry 2,000 pound animal for 8 seconds? Bull riding first appeared in the 16th century in Charitas, which were contests of ranch and horsemanship skills that came from the haciendas of Mexico. It was originally called Jaipio and was a variation of bullfighting where riders would ride a bull literally to death. Later, riders merely rode the bulls until it tired and stopped bucking. Three styles of Jaripio still exist today, which include Terraria Caliente, which is the most common, Charo, where riders only ride small bulls or large calves, and Colima, which is the deadliest and most difficult style because the riders are positioned in a way that they can easily be pitched forward onto the bull's horns. During the 1800s, the Traida style competitions became popular in the Southwest, most prominently in Texas and California. These areas had a heavy concentration of Mexican and Anglo ranch hands working together. In 1852, the Lone Star Fair, which was held in Corpus Christi, Texas, became the first Anglo-American organized event to host Charita style bullfighting. Headlining the event was a matador from Mexico City named Don Camarina. While Jaripio was featured as a secondary event, it was so popular it made headlines as far away as New Orleans. During this time, Wild West shows began adding steer riding to their acts as well, since steers were easier to handle than bulls. Like most other rodeo events, despite its popularity, it lacked standardized rules. This changed in 1936 with the creation of the Cowboys Turtle Association. This association came to be after Cowboys protested rodeo promoter W.T. Johnson's treatment of Cowboys during the Boston Garden Rodeo. One of these Cowboys was Dick Griffith, a four-time consecutive bull riding champion. This new organization boosted rodeo popularity and in turn, bull riding as well. In 1945, the name was changed to the Rodeo Cowboys Association and has now become the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, or PRCA, in 1975. In 1992, 20 bull riders, including Ty Murray, Tuff Hedgeman, and Cody Lambert, broke away from the traditional rodeo scene and created their own organization and rules. These riders believed that bull riding was the most popular rodeo event and it could stand alone without sharing the limelight. Together, these riders gathered in a hotel room in Scottsdale, Arizona, and each contributed $1,000 to the creation of the Professional Bull Riders, Inc., or PBR. While the original 20 bull riders believed their sport was popular enough to be a standalone event, None of them could have imagined it could be officially declared the fastest growing sport in America, let alone one of the fastest growing sports in history. However, bull riding has done just that. Annual audience attendance has grown from 310,000 in 1995 to more than 3 million in recent years. The PBR has seen unprecedented growth in both global and domestic markets. Today, more than 600 bull riders in the U.S., Australia, Brazil, Canada, and Mexico hold PBR memberships and compete in more than 300 events each year in either the Built for Tough series, Blue Death Velocity Tour, and the Touring Pro Division. Australia, Brazil, Canada, and Mexico also hold their own tours. However, the ultimate goal is to qualify for the Built for Tough World Finals in Las Vegas, the richest bull riding event in the world. The PBR pits the top 35 bull riders against each other to compete week in and week out on this series. Each event in the series is paired with a world-class production of pulsating music and explosive pyrotechnics that could rival any other major league sport. Oh, it's 80 Sunday! Dude, Brandon, how do you do this? 
Is that it? Why are you looking like? Why are you looking at me? Because you can do it. Because you can do it. That. Guess you can. By none. He looks like a sixty-year-old white dude. That's what he looks like. Oh, here we go. You want to see that? 82 year old. Let's go the other way. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Yeah, these people. Big matchup, Kimosabi. This series is televised each week on CBS and CBS Sports Network, as well as other networks around the world. The PBR broadcasts also reach over half a billion households in 50 nations and territories. Current rules dictate that a rider must last eight seconds with one hand on the bull rope that is tightened just behind the bull's front legs and one hand in the air. A secondary rope is tightened just before the bull's rear legs on the flank, and it is this rope that encourages the bull to buck bigger and harder. The clock starts when both the bull's hip and shoulder breaks the panel gate and stops when the rider's hand comes out of the rope voluntarily or not, or when the buzzer indicates eight seconds has passed. The clock also stops if the rider touches himself, the bull, or the ground with his free hand. If the rider rides a full eight seconds, he receives a score. If he does not make the eight seconds, he receives a no score for that attempt. Each ride is worth 100 points, with 50 going to the rider if he successfully rides the eight seconds and 50 going to the bull, as he is competing against the other bulls. However, no matter how successful the rider was, the bull will always receive his points. A bull is judged on his athleticism and difficulty to ride, taking into account spin in either direction, direction change of any kind, kicking out with the hind end, dropping in the front, and body rolls, which is when the bull either kicks out with his hind feet or all four feet to the side. Each of these factors create a higher difficulty to ride. The rider, on the other hand, is judged on his control throughout the ride. This takes into account how well the rider matches the bull's counter moves, how centered he stays, and how fluid his movements are throughout the ride. Extra points can be obtained for style, such as spurring, in which the rider's leg lifts off of the bull and returns it as this demonstrates a greater control. The combined score of the bull and rider for each successful ride are the official ride scores. Three rides, or do-over rides, are given if the bull's performance was subpar or if the bull fools the rider at all during the ride. This is when the rider is rubbed against the chute or object, the bull stumbles, the flank strap detaches, and so on.